Dominica 2020. Welcome to Dominica Kaiwa 2020. Enjoy the good music, good food, and the good people. Our carnival is the most unique, spontaneous carnival in the Caribbean. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Dominica. So I am here on a trip with Discover Dominica over the next few days and I've actually filmed a video all about me arriving here from London and also what it's like eating and exploring around the island. And this video is gonna be the third one and it's gonna be all about carnival, which I have never been to before and we have just arrived here during carnival week. So right now it is the Monday and we're about to head into town to see some of the traditional costume parades, have a look at what everything is like the music's been playing since last night all the way through to this morning so it's been like a non-stop party. The event last night is called Juvet, a street party to mark the start of carnival. It begins during the early hours of the morning until dawn. The guys on the trip attend via celebrations and kindly sent the clip so I can show you. It looked wild and the streets were full of people singing and dancing having the best time. I love to dance, not very good at it, but hopefully through this process I can pick up some moves and show you. So I thought I'd document what the whole experience is like. So if you're interested in coming to Carnival, then you can have a look. Carnival in Dominica is known as Mass Dominique or the Real Mass. Mass stands for Masquerade and Dominique is the French Creole name for the island. Carnival here dates back to its 18th century roots when the slavery trade was abolished. The people took to the streets to dance, sing and rejoice their freedom. Today, you'll find social commentary through song and a celebration of calypso music, street dancing, village feasts, colourful costume and day-to-night partying. It happens every year around 34 days before Lent, but the bigger celebrations are on the Monday and Tuesday before Ash Wednesday. This is so cool, so they've got a sports bars going on. This is my hangout spot. Oh, can I film? Yeah, yeah, it's the one foot bar and grill and also music studio. <laughs> the darkies, they, they, they use charcoal, or some form of black dye and they paint their bodies and they move very quickly in the parade. The street parade just keep on coming. It is honestly a spectacle. So much is going on, so much colour, so much dancing. This is so cool to witness. On Carnival Monday you'll find old mass traditional costumes, t-shirt bands and school bands. so important. There's so much pride in the air and it's such a celebration of culture, celebration of identities. It is unlike anything I've ever experienced before and it feels really really special to be here as well and it's also everyone of all kinds of ages are here. We've got the elderly, we've got the young, we've got the kids. It just feels really really special to be a part of something like this. Carnival Tuesday. Good morning. Today is day three in Dominica. Started the morning off with another yoga session. Feeling limber, feeling flexible. This is what I am wearing today. I actually bought this for my birthday last year and it's kind of like a play on a blazer dress. So we've got the little silk tie here that goes in at the waist. We've got a burnt orange color, a little silk like um, collar and I've just worn a gray sparkly bralette under. I've also got some shorts underneath here just in case the dancing gets too vigorous. I know a lot of you love my jewelry and earrings and I've bought this new pair from ASOS. Today it is the big carnival day. So yesterday was more about the traditional costumes and about the schools. Today is called the last lap. It's gonna be a big old dance and celebration so I can't wait to see how it compares to yesterday. But you were quite the party animal. I used to be, yeah. Are you excited for carnival? Always. It's always a nice, nice time. I used to run a bad mass. I would leave him on a Friday Mm -hmm. Even then, don't get back until Ash Wednesday. Trevor's been <laughs> running carnival for 30 years, so he knows a thing or two about dancing, and he's going to teach me some basic moves. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you go front end. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Level yeah. up. Right, so when the, when the beats get faster, you go faster. Okay, yeah. Like yeah. This. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever do like a pointing finger? Or? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, anything, yeah. <laughs> anything you, you're comfortable with. Just let the body flow, yes, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you very much, Trevor, dance champion of Dominica.
care everybody. There is excitement in the air, there's music currently playing and we're just waiting for the fans to come round because they go all across the different roads and all come back round in a circle. Everybody is waiting either along the side of the road, they're waiting outside their balconies, outside their houses. We get the occasional like sneak peek of what to expect when people walking with their costumes, getting refreshed, eating some fruit salad. We have to celebrate properly, so we're now gonna get some beer or shandy to start our second day. On Carnival Tuesday, the new king and queen for the year are introduced. The Calypso song played the most during the parades will also win the title Road March Song 2, as Sakia from Soccer Dread explains here. What happens throughout the day is that different bands will play music to really hype up their revelers. And the judges also look at what song gets played the most because the artist with the biggest played song, the most played song, is considered the Road March King. So when they have the, the biggest song being played, they get an award for that. The people of Dominica are the stars here, so I don't want to waste any opportunity to interview the masterminds behind the event and the king and queen themselves. Welcome to Dominica 2020! I am Marva Williams, the festival and events manager with the Discover Dominica Authority. So I basically manage the carnival and all of the major festivals. Carnival started like as though a week ago and you know all the events have been packed, people have been talking about it. So uh, we're just hoping to continue with a safe carnival today. What's your number one reason why people should come to Dominica? I mean, Dominica is an amazing island. We are so mountainous, you know, we are known for the greenery and Dominica is relatively unspoiled. Our carnival is the most unique, spontaneous carnival in the Caribbean. It's all about nature, festivities and of course, lovely people. Welcome to Dominica Carnival 2020. I am Ida Siman from Stereo Mass. I'm the founder and director of Stereo Mass. Why people should come to Dominica? Well, one, we have a very unique experience for our carnival. You get soca, you get buya music, you get everything, you get traditional culture. You definitely come to Dominica for carnival. Are you able to show me one dance move? You're just whining, you're just riding away. <laughs> okay, my name is Jude J.D. Deloney, the Calypso King of Dominica 2020. We call it the nature island of the world. So you have to come visit and see all the resources we have and enjoy the good music, good food, and the good people. Friendly people, yes. Before you go, can you show me one signature dance move? Of mine? Yeah. yeah. Woo! Could you please introduce yourself? My name is Sarah James. I am Miss Dominica 2020. I am representing Rosa. That's the city of Dominica. What's the number one reason why people should visit Dominica? We follow a rich culture, we're very vibrant and unique carnival. We have a very amazing carnival and it's like no other in the Caribbean. And finally, can you show me a dance with you? I should probably leave the dancing to the professionals. I especially loved how female bodies of all shapes and sizes are celebrated during carnival. It was incredibly empowering and beautiful to witness and a feeling I took home with me to London. I wish I could have taken some of this chicken home with me too. We are now sheltering from the afternoon heat and Trevor has taken us into a local restaurant off the back of the parade but with a balcony view so we can still look over at everything going on but we're just not roasting in the heat. And we've just ordered some food as well so we can choose between burger and chips or wedges or plantain or you can get fried chicken and I have been craving fried chicken for so long on this trip. I keep smelling it and today is the day. I have finally found a fried chicken that is actually spicy. <laughs> I've also added some additional spice. So this one is Carl's homegrown hot sauce. I don't like it when hot sauce is just spicy for the sake of it, but this one actually has flavor within it. The fried chicken itself, yes. Yes, it's actually a variety of different herbs and spices within the batter. So as soon as you eat it, you're not greeted with a burst of hot oil. You're greeted with spices and herbs, and then you're met with juicy, succulent pieces of chicken. This is just great carnival food. And of course, Kubali beer. 
The restaurant is called Faith Restaurant and it is off the road from Independent Street. Come here for the fried chicken. That was the end of my first carnival experience. A big thank you to the team at Discover Dominica for putting together such an incredible week. And finally, I'll leave you with the last interview with the artist Inciter, who sung my favourite Calypso song of 2020, Poulet in the Cabinet. And the song I sing in the city is Poulet in the Cabinet. It's my favourite song. Yes. It's your favourite song. It's my favorite song. Have you been celebrating hard so far? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It's Calypso, yeah. so <laughs> we have to support one another. You want to sing it? It goes like, Cop, M A Poulet. Poulet in Cabinet. How pretty Poulet Pajon. Camboutia was your centre. Lucky <laughs> 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 <laughs>